There's an extensive measure proceeding with the 2019 Ram 1500, inside, outside, outback, and in the motor. New engine choices, two of which incorporate 48 volt T torque help for extra run, and heaps of air significant trims. Regardless, our first contribution with the 19 Ram is revolved around the totality of the truck experience, making a walk back, a full breath of sell out air, and engrossing everything. Hammer is staking out a fascinating claim to fame in an incomprehensibly engaged part. More than anything, this is an extraordinarily pleasant truck, and that is decisively what it ought to be. Remember, ran dumped leaf springs for circle springs 10 years back, figuring a smoother ride surpassed the cost. That didn't make it less truckish, since limits in like manner extended. Besides, the same goes here, the suspension geometry has changed fundamentally further, giving it better control over obstacles in the Phoenix Provincial Territories and moreover the surrender washes, ensured by Saguaro Sentinels. Remembering that you think this suggests the 1500 surrenders anything on its predecessor, authentically arranged the 19 can tow up to 12,700 pounds. Really, with the 1500, not a two-fold turn heavier odd at 3,500 or something. Most outrageous payload is up to 2,320 pounds, also, disregarding the way that that rating is only for a 3.6 liters 4x2 with a 3.55 posterior. There must be a trade-off, isn't that so? Perhaps Ram crushed with him to save weight. Nope, both the quad and crew taxis are more noteworthy. The crew cab builds up more. Be that as it may, with four extra slithers of extra wheelbase finding its way into the immense space behind the front seats, there's 45.2 killjoys of legroom back there, which is around 5 inches more than already. This strategy of essentially looking over the ram, hunting down hints that something was more frightful or wrong, just came up deplete. The fundamental area the 1500 seems to show weakness is in evaluating. All things considered it's all the more expensive in all cases, by two or three hundred dollars, yet some of it is offset great options packaging or additional substance. Besides, clearly, with extended multifaceted design there's the potential for higher running costs not far removed, something we can't evaluate until the point that the moment that these trucks have been all over the place for an impressive period of time. Back to the present. The conclusion we came to is that Ram basically place assets into different zones in this truck. A touch of the cost is passed on to the buyer, however not as much as you'd think. To decipher from the encounter, pay to some degree more, get altogether more. This stretches out to in every way that really matters each Ram in the range, however on our excursion to Arizona there were only three tremendous variations open, and all had exactly the same. A 5.7 liter V8 without the e-torque 48 volt electric help system, valuable for 395 draw and 410 pound feet of torque, and moved around a ZF 8 speed customized transmission, a remnant from the past age. No e-torques were available, period. We drove a big horn 4x4 outfit and with the sport appearance package out on the town, a rebel go earth street cavorting and contributed a touch of vitality hitting around a singular limited 4x4 on area. We have enough to state concerning the way the essential 19 Ram 1500 works with the characteristic Hemi V8 by at large, and we'll drive the e-torque engine soon enough. In spite of the way that the e-torque arranged trucks will be the adequacy sweethearts, the non-destroyed V8 Ram still has an impressive measure of streamlined and productivity features, once a re-examination in the full assess part. The 19 1500 has, for example, a dynamic front air dam on any model without a harsh landscape package that cuts down 2.5 inches, obtaining from the prerequisite for a dull plastic catch spoiler. It even has a system that pre-warms the back differential, using engine coolant, to diminish hardships from rubbing from thick, nippy mechanical assembly oil. These things aren't poor to design and execute, and don't realize stunning increments independently. Regardless, with no basic fixes now, if you don't hurl all that you got at it, you'll blow your task force mileage and outpourings midpoints. 
So the 1500 0.357 coefficient of drag, a measure of how easily it cuts through the air, is nothing startling. And besides, a slight change over the maker's figures for the last age truck, 0.36. To give you a sentiment where that fits inside the extremes, a precarious, impressively more diminutive 2018 Nissan Leaf gets 0.28. And current age full evaluate truck contenders are proper around 0.40. That air change is expert without making the ram smaller, either. Notwithstanding all that it has a fake, vertical front end. The standard ram crosser grille is gone, an aware break from the past, and the new grille's covered dynamic screens to enable diminishing to drag. There's so far a hint of the old enormous mechanical assembly look to the hood protuberance in progress down completed the headlights, a check segment that ran splendid not to cast off, yet rather it's no longer as unmistakable as it once may have been. The grill extends, a truly astonishing throat, with a couple of level crossbar drugs depending upon trim, all drawing in mindfulness in regards to the pommel logo, clarified ahead of time, rather than the ram's head shield which is crashed onto the for the most part daintily enlivened backside. Styling is subjective, yet the more diminutive and more core-like headlights strike me as a softening of the general layout. The new 1500 isn't without full evaluate truck swagger, the longhorn trim is embellished with every western more interesting methods of expression you could imagine beside a bull whip, yet the look, especially fit as a fiddle is more Chrysler 300 than last-gen power wagon. Same goes for the taillights, with tilde-esque, tilde, openings through which brilliant turn signals look. It's smothered instead of enthusiastic. Maybe it grows the truck's charm. Additionally, in case you require unadulterated truck hostility, there's constantly the rebel's handlebar mustache, Ram's depiction, not our own. By some methods, but instead the dynamic truck is more pleasant looking to my eyes. Inside, the mindset vacillates by trim, with no tradesmen or longhorns around. Lower spec big horns put sensible materials and cases in places you can see and touch, and sensible looking harder pieces in the anteroom and corners. The general effect is more Jeep Grand Cherokee than work truck, and that is amazing for truck buyers who might incline toward not to exchange off a bit. Just ahead and get up close to those nooks and corners, this present truck has nothing to conceal except for stacks of storage space, an immense 39 liters in the reconfigurable concentration console, possibly the best in the segment, and 151 liters through and through reasoning about all of the hid repositories and pockets. 3U connecting flotainment choices are available, including a basic 5-inch unit, the mid audit 8.4 inch and 12-inch picture-style touchscreen, optional on Laramie and part of an apparatus package on higher trims. We watched the 8.4 to be ordinarily prepared, and the 12-inch unit stunning yet relatively overwhelming. It's decidedly hard to dismiss, it's breathtaking, however the 8.4 is fine. You could crawl wherever all through the 1500 for a long time investigating minute purposes of premium and testing out every passage and best, the as of late damped back end is made of aluminum and can be remote worked, however it's a perfect chance to drive. Most pickups spend by a wide margin the majority of their lives on blacktop, so we drove the chrome covered sport appearance package arranged big horn through the diverse cityscapes close Phoenix, freeways, country byways, arterials. This is a peaceful truck, because of a constrained degree to acoustic glass and two or three racket cancellation tracks, like dynamic uproar cancellation through the speakers, particularly in chamber deactivation mode. In like way there are body-mounted dynamic attuned mass modules, shakers, essentially, that recognize and counterbalance unwanted vibrations. That sounds like a lot of working to make the truck more settled, yet it works splendidly and without the heaviness of overpowering sound assurance. The ride is extraordinary, car-like, frankly. A more drawn-out wheelbase, up for crawls on crew cab models and both bed lengths however unaltered in quad cab models, doesn't hurt any in such way. Hammer credits the adjusted, light-weighted front control arms, a move front against move bar, and new unique back twists for the improvements. 
In any case, more than any of these, the internal evade paralyzes, which RAN calls frequency response damping, give two damping modes, a firm one for common driving, and a gentler avoid valve to drench up harder, speedier information sources. The general effect is a far-reaching, acquitting damping twist, and a truck that rides luxuriously without falling over in a corner. Certain mixes of road flaws will shake out affirmation of the stick center point out back. Air suspension is again offered, nonetheless we didn't drive any trucks so arranged. Regarding the 5.7 liter V8, it's remnant, so the updates are really minor. The chamber deactivation structure's working degree has been extended, this clears up a part of the confusion in vibration measures in the trucks we attempted. It's elusive other than the half a mile per gallon road mileage thump under EPA test conditions. The cooling fan is furthermore electric now. Unless you work at the EPA orchestrating complete naval force typical mileage numbers, you won't consider any of this. If you go harsh territory, you'll consider the new back key locker. You would choice have the capacity to it on.